All right, this year I feel like uh, the winter uglies were, they were real. I just kind of wanted to transform into like spring makeup, do some glowy, peachy, springy makeups. Let's transform together. I'm gonna go from this, this was taken this morning, <laughs> to this. I did want to thank Anissa Beauty for continuing to support my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. I love working with them because I use their brushes every single day. You see the purple handed brushes in pretty much every video at this point. I'm gonna highlight four of my favorites. You'll see me using them as I'm doing the rest of my makeup. But the tapered highlight brush, the angled concealer, multi-powder brush, and buffing bronzer brush. These are my favorites. I'll have the exact ones listed down below. Anissa Beauty is cruelty free, made with synthetic fibers. They're super soft. If you're shopping on Anissa Beauty, the code Taylor will give you 15% off your entire order right now. I'll have it linked down below along with the names of the exact brushes. I also tried a couple new makeup products in this video. Some favorites and then a couple new things and one thing was a major hit so very excited for you guys to see that everything i used on my face today will be listed down below in the description box along with the anisa beauty brushes hair rollers in we've got caffeine cheers so my skin has been um freaking out a bit i don't know what's happening here but it's been going on for like a couple months and i'm just dry as a desert i already have on my skincare my spf i'm gonna go in with mac fix plus because when i'm super dry and just feel like i need that extra moisture this is a classic great under makeup or over lol when i used to work at mac that was like a whole other life now that was like what 12 years ago oh my god yeah I should probably uh, close my eye when i do that the smell of fix plus so nostalgic just to um make the appearance of looking healthy and glowy and springy i'm gonna use the patrick ta face and body i never use this on my face actually but it's the shade she's glossy i think there's only one Shade, it's just like a balm that you can put on for a glow. Smells very good. Smells like vanilla. I almost do prefer though that these kind of products don't have a scent because usually when you're putting something on like this, you're going out and you're already like wearing perfume. It has like a slightly tacky texture, like balmy texture, but not overly sticky. Like if someone touched you, it would just be like, oh, she has moisturizer on. Uh, trying to be ambidextrous here. I'll have the self tanner that I put on last night linked down below. It's an airbrush one. I don't like using it in that way because it gets everywhere. So I just like spray it onto a mitt and then apply. Okay, so today I think I'm gonna use the Joa Crystal Glow Peptide Infused Foundation. I wore this one a lot in the summer. The shade might be too dark. So if it is, I'll mix in something lighter. I have this air purifier now. If you've seen the vlogs, you know. And it's so interesting because you like do something and the the red light will go on. Like when I was just doing my hair, I think it was the hairspray, but it's been in like the red zone for the last like hour because of the hairspray. <laughs> like what is in that hairspray? Where does it just travel so far throughout the apartment? It's kind of wild. I'm ready for spring and summer and I'm like excited for that. But at the same time, I don't feel like I did enough wintry things yet. Like I really wanted to go snowshoeing. It might still happen actually, but I am excited for Oregon spring and summer. Oregon summer, the best. Can't even explain it. So I'm going pretty light with the coverage. I've been really liking just seeing my skin in like lighter coverage, but then concealing where I need to. If you want more coverage than this, the Joa BB Cream, I love. Natasha Denona Concealer, this is, this is like, I would say my Holy Grail concealer at this point. Other ones just don't do it for me anymore. So going in with the Anissa Angled Concealer Brush, you guys see me use this in every single video, every single vlog, whenever I'm doing my makeup. It's what I use for my concealer every day. I like to let this concealer sit on for 30 seconds, sometimes a minute. Usually I actually go in and do my brow gel while the concealer is drying down, just so then I can go back and do the pencil once the brow gel is like set down. This brush has the perfect density for blending out under eye concealer. A lot of brushes just like take away the coverage for me. This one is exactly what I look for. It's angled, so it's easy to get into certain parts of your eye, like right here. It's soft, not scratchy at all, so it's not gonna be like irritating underneath your eye. It's great for spot concealing down here or wherever you need to, acne spots. And a lot of days lately, I'll put on my tinted SPF and then I go in with my Natasha Denona concealer just like where I need it, blend it out with this brush, put on some cream blush, brows and call it a day. I'm gonna go with my Joa brow pencil in the shade Brunette. Okay, how beautiful is this packaging? I'm gonna use it as a little mirror, but this is an M Cosmetics powder that I think we might try today, depending on what the base is looking like. Whoa, this mirror's kind of trippy. Are my eyeballs okay? I've found that for my brows, especially if I'm just doing something quick, what makes the biggest difference is bringing in and down the inner part of my brows. I feel like that's what changes kind of like the look of my face shape. So if I have like, five seconds to do brows, I literally just 
start at the front, go like that, and then like call it a day. I keep getting whisked with that Patrick Ta. Maybe I take it back. It smells very good. And I actually feel like if you were using like a vanilla kind of perfume or that had notes of vanilla, it might actually help it, it just flew off, might help it adhere to your body almost because it is Kind of tacky. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Tower 28 Broad Cream Bronzer. Taking the Anissa Buffing Bronzer Brush. It's kind of like a contour shape. You can use it for cream contour, cream bronzer. I like it because you don't have to think too hard. You literally just place it right under your cheekbones. You can make, you know, the fish face if you want. You just place it there. Because of the shape, it's super easy to get that like defined kind of cheekbone. I haven't used this Tower 28 one in a minute. Can't really remember what I think of this shade. This is also like a very balmy texture. Uh-oh, someone is hammering. Yeah, it's definitely just like a, a warm shade. Also nice for doing tip of your nose, under your lip. Same with the concealer brush. You could also use this for like a nose contour. Same thing right there, cream highlight. So for this spring look, I'm going for, instead of like pinks, I wanna do just like peachy, orange tones, peach tones. So I'm gonna take this Danessa Meyers Bellini blush. I do feel like you need to set this one, whether it's with like a powder or another blush, if you want it to last. This one is kind of like a coral pink. There's definitely still quite a bit of pink in here. So I might try to get some more peach tones with something else. This move right here has changed my makeup life. I do this every day with blush and I just feel like it, I don't know, like ties things together and makes it look more natural. I kinda wanna try this glowy powder by Pixi. It says radiance powder. So I might use it as like a blush topper. It looks like it might be a peachy shade. Let's destroy this box and find out. Wow, why am I making this so difficult? <sighs> we did it. Okay, this is in the shade. That was an experience getting this open. This is in the shade Peach Dew. Ooh, oh yeah, that might be exactly what we're going for here. This kind of product, especially when I want a blush topper kind of look, love using this brush by Nisa. It's a tapered highlight brush. It is tapered, so if you want a more precise application, like right here, you can, but you never get, I never get like the stripey kind of effect with this because of the shape of it. But I love this for a blush topper because it disperses the product nicely. You could also use this for blush, honestly. I don't know how glowy this is, so. So we'll find out. Oh yeah, that's exactly what the doctor ordered. Ooh, I like that. Yep, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. It has that peachy tone. It's not like too glittery, especially with this brush because it kind of diffuses the product. That looks good. Okay, now I feel very springy glowy. I do think I want to try out this powder because it's supposed to be, it says portrait mode refining setting powder. It's just a sheer powder by M Cosmetics. 11 out of 10 on this packaging. This is beautiful. So I'm hoping this is just going to be a nice sheer blurring powder. One of the main things I look for with these products is that it doesn't, well, first of all, that it actually blurs or does something, smooths things out. And second, that it doesn't lift up the coverage underneath because a lot of powders can do that. I find it happens less with press powders. When I'm filming this, the Amicole powder is back in stock right now. So hopefully it still is when this video goes up. Another Anissa brush I've raved about use every time I do powder. Powder brushes can make or break it. If I use a loose flimsy one, it just does nothing for my skin. I feel like it makes it look worse. This one has a bit of density, but it's not hard. It's not too firm. You still get like flex with it. Those brushes so soft. But it has this nice angle to it where it just kind of like hugs your face. You can use this for powder bronzer. I like how the base is looking right now, so I'm hoping this powder doesn't uh, destroy it for us here. I must just try it on my chin first. Can't tell if it just took away. I think it might be one that takes away some of the coverage. Okay, I'm gonna try it right around my pores. I'm gonna add in some of that glow back to my nose. It definitely did some blurring. I can't quite tell yet if it took away some of the product underneath. I'm gonna have to keep testing this one immediately. Don't hate it. We'll see. I do wanna add some glow back in though to my nose. Just the bridge of my nose. These two together. Just on the very high point, because I want this to be super glowy, I think I'm gonna take my Give Beauty Homegrown Glow. Also such a beautiful product for that peachy, just warmth. I'm gonna use the same brush, but just apply it right here. Just want a little bit lighter right there. Going with my Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick. So I wanna keep the eyes light, but like peachy. So I think I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Palette. Start off with this shade, just put that all in the crease. Just kinda of like messily. I just want this to be very soft, not doing anything super defined. And then taking the really warm matte shade right here, it's like the camel, just kinda of going 
over that and bringing it a little bit lower. With that same exact shade, I'm gonna take it on a smaller brush for the lower lash line. So the second shade over is definitely a peachy shade. I'm debating if I wanna use this or use this. I think I'm gonna start out with the Patrick Ta and if I feel like it needs a little help, I'm gonna go into the Pixie. I'm just gonna use this on my finger. I might actually mix in a little bit of this bronze. Yeah, there we go. Here's the bronze shade alone. And then going in with the peachy shade, bringing it a little more in. Do you want a little more warmth on the lid? So I'm gonna take the Pixie. I'm curious how this is gonna look on the eyes. Beautiful. Pixie is really coming through today. I want to lift the eyes a little bit using a brown shadow. So I'm gonna take a flat liner brush and go in with this really warm brown shade. And I'm just gonna create like a soft liner, really lift on the outer part. I don't really want it to look like a wing. I just want it to be lifted. So I'm gonna soften it out with this brush. I'm not bringing it all the way in. I'm only stopping about halfway. Taking that same shade, I'm gonna plop it right here but very close in, not blending too far down. I want a little more pop on the inner corner. So I'm gonna take the lightest shade in the Patrick Ta. I'm actually gonna do lips before I do lashes and stuff because I can't decide right now if I need a little bit something more in the eyes or not. I think I'm gonna take this also Patrick Ta lip liner in the shade She's Bold. I wanna go for the peachy tone on the lips too. So I just want a little definition with this one. I love that this clicks up by the way. I found the best freaking lip product that's been keeping my lips super hydrated, even though it is hella dry. So I'm gonna talk about it in my March Rays and Rejects video. Oh yeah, this is perfect. I don't wanna fill them all the way in, so I'm just kinda smudging that out. I'm gonna take a little bit of Bellini. Just dab it, there we go. I don't want it too filled in, I just want a little color. Oh, that's actually really pretty together for just like a soft matte, but still kinda natural look. Now I'm kinda like, wait, do I wanna even put a gloss over top? I actually really like that. I'm gonna sit on that for a minute. I might not even wanna put anything over top of that. I do wanna put just a couple corner lashes on, so I'm gonna apply my mascara. Wow, look at this. What a day, a moment of silence. Wait, <laughs> it's the theme today. I love this mascara for these kind of looks because I feel like it does a really good job of bringing the lashes out. Like for this kind of look, I don't wanna have a lot of mascara right here. I want it to really lift the outer part of my eye. And I feel like this does a good job of that, always. I'm gonna take the same mascara, put a little bit just on the outer lashes. I don't wanna bring it too far in. Okay, I'm gonna put on a couple corner lashes. I wanna try these ones. I got these on YesStyle. Oh my God, that thing is hella long. I need to, no, these are just super long. There's like one strand that is about to fly away. Mm, no, I don't know if you can tell, look at that. That looks ridiculous. Okay, these are a no. I'm not putting that on my eyeball. Usually I use half of the 692s. I think I'm gonna use a third of them and use like the smaller third. Let's first cut it in half. So I'm taking this smaller half. Now I'm gonna take a little bit off the front and kind of use like the middle section actually. I'm just gonna see what it would look like. Yep, see that, that's what we want. Okay, the lashes are on. I feel like that always makes such a difference. If you don't wanna deal with the glue or your eyes get irritated like mine do, the kiss, Press on lashes, I love, I'll link them down below. I think I'm gonna keep the lips matte. I can't remember the last time I had a matte lip, but I really like the look of it with like the super glowy cheek. I put a lot of hairspray in, <laughs> zhuzh it up. All right, so this is the final peachy, springy kind of look. I must say, I'm feeling much better. I need to go do something now. Feeling glowy, feeling moisturized. I'll have all the makeup I used in today's video along with my Anissa brushes linked down below. The code Taylor, which will give you 15% off your entire order on Anissa Beauty. This was fun. I feel like I'm reinvigorated and excited to be like playing with makeup again and just have a space to do it. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.